2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And getting mentally prepared to compete. You see the focus. You feel the energy. These guys are ready to go. That's a great look at our location tonight, the home of the Suns here in downtown Phoenix. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. And the injury report for both teams, players who will not be available tonight. Uh, they say misery loves company, and both teams now suffering with injuries. But in the end, it balances out. And let's go straight over to David Aldridge for a report before the tip-off. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks very much. The Phoenix Suns have struggled the last few years, but they're trying to build a winning franchise again. And their all-star Devin Booker said, you want to see the city at a high level, that energy and aura. I've always said since I've been in Phoenix that I know the fans are there. We've got the support behind us. We just have to go and perform. Kevin, back to you. Well, they're getting closer. Thanks, D.A. Couple terrific centers in tonight's matchup here, Greg. Great pivots, but uh, center matchups are far from traditional, it seems like, these days. No doubt about it, Kevin. Okay, once you get into this now small ball mindset, this positionless game, I mean, you're seeing guys as short as P.J. Tucker play the five because, listen, when you're 25 feet from the basket, if I'm 6'2 and you're 7'2, I can still guard you. So because of the spacing now, it allows you the luxury to play smaller. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. We go. We've got Aaron Gordon. He's out there with Porter. Jokic is out there with Rivers. And for Phoenix, Booker and Bridges are the wings. Aiton is out there with Jay Crowder. And it's Paul in at the point guard position. It's not going to go for him. Some solid defense from Aiton. Here's Bridges. And Aiton throws it down. Well, he passes to the wide open man, Bridges, developing some team chemistry. Outside, Porter. Passes it to Gordon. Kicks to Rivers. Jokic against Aiton. And that one goes long. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. And Bones, Devin Booker, capable of big nights. One of just a few players with multiple games of at least 59 points. Well, he's always looking to put pressure on the defense, and he's got such a wide array of skills, not only shooting the basketball, but has shown off more of his patience and playmaking ability as he moves through his career. Ball outside. The triple. A second chance effort. Jokic with the steal. Porter looking it over. So, first quarter just over a minute and a half in. From the arc. It's hauled in by the Suns. Now, Bridges. Good work there as it goes. Offense clicking early here. Three for four to start this one. The pass to Jokic. Dishes it to Porter. And the rejection by Aiton. Oh, he has the size and can get up quickly. Aiton with the throwback. Here's Crowder. Porter with a block. Down low. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. And he's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty, uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. And it's Gordon finishing it off. 
out of nowhere. Gordon just soaring in there, and that athleticism carries him straight to the hoop. Booker in the post. He's guarded by Rivers, and it's blocked by Gordon. Rivers kicks to Porter from 18 feet away. Goes back up, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. A good job of rebounding in traffic by Jokic using his huge hands to snatch up that board. The Nuggets shooting their first free throw of the game. Johnson, he's checked in for Crowder. Free throw, good. Jokic. And for Jokic, a slow start to last season. Came in heavy, lost over 20 pounds as he played his way into shape. And boy, did he come on strong down the stretch. Now here's Johnson. Can they get it? And it's Denver with the rebound. Jokic has got four rebounds in this game. Rivers gets a wide open look. Buries the corner three. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get timeout, these good timeout. looks. Well, we know, Greg, that Jokic is never going to be the most explosive athlete, but some, some have questioned his conditioning, even his motor. What do you see? I mean, the crazy thing is, even with those questions, he regularly puts up box scores we haven't seen in half a century. But to win it all, you've got to leave no stone unturned. And I think for a young player, he's got to make more of a commitment to his body. And I think we will see that in time. Giving up a run here, can, can they turn it around? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Some changes for Phoenix. Charge checked in for Aiton. Tory Craig comes in for Mikael Bridges. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Chris Paul. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Booker outside. They need this. And it's good on the way in. Booker's got his second basket of the game. And Booker does not lack confidence when it comes to his ball handling. Wow, sensational there. Morris with the ball. Working on Payne. It's deflected. A minute 50 left in the first. And he uses the glass on the layup. Howard with it. Sinks that one from the post. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. Booker against Morris. Booker in the post. Over Morris. No good from Booker. Denver leading by four. And it's Gordon penetrating. And Green slams it in. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. No good from Booker. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Howard. Charge grabs the board. The Suns have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Charity stripe shot. Craig can't get it to go. Denver's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. 
Morris kicks to Howard. Fires for three. Payne grabs the board. Suns trail by six. Here's Booker. And the layup is good. Booker's got six points. And Booker getting more and more comfortable fighting through NBA defenses. He used his ability there to get through contact. Outside Howard. That shot off. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Nuggets lead by four. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. And we caught up before the game with Nikola Jokic, who had a few thoughts about how to help his team succeed. Selfless. I mean, you need to took your uh, pride, you took your ego out, just to be part of the team and do whatever you need to do to be the best uh, player in your role. Greg, there are areas of Jokic's game where he probably is the best in the world. I can't think of a center with better floor vision or better passing ability. His positioning, his angles, his ability to use his size to maximize effectiveness, all at an elite level. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And from what we've been watching, guys, with the Nuggets, uh, what are you seeing out there? Well, the coaches preach ball movement, and, and we saw exactly why in that first quarter. Well, everybody just feeling the energy of the basketball as they moved it around, and lots of hands were touching it. Walker and Johnson fill out the wings. Jay Crowder out there with Sharch, and it's Payne in at the point. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Now here's Crowder. He's still scoreless so far in this one. No good from Booker. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. And here is Howard. And that one drops for him. Now it's a six-point nugget lead. Greg, did you know when you were playing that you'd eventually want to call games, be in the broadcast uh, table? Hey, Kevin, no idea. I, I didn't have any clue. And quite honestly, didn't really think that there was a, a career that one could have in terms of broadcasting, you know, because cable was just kind of coming on as I was retiring. You didn't have your own network and the things that we take for granted now. So looking back on it, no, but boy, am I glad I did. I am glad you did, too. You, you probably don't remember this. Doc Rivers and I were doing a game. You came over to say hi to the two of us, went back out on the floor. Doc nudges me and said he'll be great in TV. We saw it then. He's a, he's a good mind. The man knows what he's talking about. Phoenix calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. So for the Suns, Aiton, he's checked in for Sharich. Bridges comes in for Johnson. And Paul's subbed in for Payne. Now here's Paul. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Sometimes you just have an off night, guys, and that's what we've seen so far. And Jokic carrying that standard for a superstar big man. Uh, for your money, though, Bones, is he the best true center in the game? I don't think he's a true center in the sense, G.A., that you can't really go down to the post and have him create his own offense by scoring the basketball. Of course, he's going to create plays for his teammates. I still think A.D. holds that title right now. Paul's shot is off. Here's the Nuggets now with the ball. They're rolling here with a nine-point run. Campazzo defended by Paul. Shoots from the elbow. Millsap misses. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Sun. They trail by 11. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. 
Hey, Kevin, we know that for years the NBA has thought about a postseason play-in tournament to get more teams and fans involved. Last year's pandemic stoppage basically necessitated its implementation. For the NBA, the disruption of business as usual enabled innovation and risk-taking. I don't want to be too hoity-toity, but it was Albert Einstein who once said, in the midst of every crisis lies great opportunity. Guys, back to you. You're right. Thank you, David. The first free throw is good. And basketball in the blood for Devin Booker. I mean, his father, Melvin, starred at the University of Missouri and played pro ball. Started in high school. Devin trained with his father, trying to follow his path. Both free throws good from Booker. And we know the story. Booker moving from Michigan to Mississippi to live with his father and develop his skill. And 4.30 a.m. alarms to train on the beach before the summer sun. Getting to practice two hours early and staying late. Booker, not a freak athlete, so he had to work harder and drill the fundamentals. Lock at six. Outside for Millsap. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Millsap's got the lead up to 11 now for Denver. Paul surveying the floor. Booker draws the double. Now, here's Bridges. That shot off the mark. Good defense by Jokic. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Rejected by Booker. Buries it despite the hack. Terrific play. He'll have a chance for one more. Mikel Bridges picks one up. For Denver, they have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. Aaron Gordon, he's checking in for the Nuggets. You know, Greg, we know there's some power finishers in the NBA like Giannis Antetokounmpo, but he complains a lot that he needs to sell contact rather than muscle through it. How do you evaluate those kind of power finishers in the game? Well, I mean, there's still power will always play a role, especially when you can add in quickness and athleticism. And I think you start right there with Giannis. I mean, he's kind of epitomizes that. LeBron obviously is still in that category. And a guy like Kawhi Leonard, uh, he can send you into the stanchion when he gets going downhill as well. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Aiton. Boy, that was a momentum killer to start last season, wasn't it, Greg? 25-game suspension for DeAndre Ayton. And he sprained his ankle in his return game. The, the Suns, at full strength, able to win some games. He's obviously a huge part of their future. Ayton hits them both. Well, DeAndre Ayton is a walking double-double. This guy has a huge physical advantage on the nights that he's playing other bigs, whether that's by his size or his ability to run the floor. And if he comes out with an aggressive mentality, he could really punish some teams throughout the course of a regular season. And some think that Aiton has a chance to be in a class with some of the great big men we've seen, be it Ewing or Robinson, Hakeem. I mean, those are very lofty standards. Brent, how does he get there? It's a great question. I think when you talk about it, Kevin, you got to look at the defensive end. And those names that you just mentioned on a nightly basis were a force behind anybody on the perimeter. When they came into that house, it was defended. If Aiton gets there, he's got a big opportunity. And he knocks down the first one. Well, Booker still has some upside, one of the best young scorers that we've seen in the NBA in the last decade. He's already an established star, and the sky is the limit for this guy. Now he just wants more wins. Well, 
Both free throws good from Booker. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Here's Jokic. His shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. Such an outstanding effort there for the big man to stay focused with his shot. Jokic, tremendous concentration. Just great hands for Aiton to time that one. The Nuggets leading by 10. Pass to Jokic. Campazzo is covered by Aiton. Pass to Rivers. Bob pass to Gordon, and it's Gordon finishing it off. I like that, staying alert. Rivers keeping his head up to find the open man. Suns have gone only two of seven from the field since the second quarter got underway. Ball passes to Booker. Now Aiton. Here's Paul. It's good, he scores. That's his first basket after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. Now what a great option he gives them on every possession. Passes it to Jokic. In the corner, it's Gordon. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Gordon's got seven. And they've done a great job knocking down those long-range shots here in the second, shooting just over 40% from downtown. Count it, and the Nugget lead has been cut to just 11 on the basket from Paul. Said it time and time again, Chris Paul in the mid-range is pretty much half the time going to be good. Outside, Gordon. Here's Jokic. And Denver again with the bucket. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. On the wing, Booker. Over Rivers. Misses off the right iron. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Ball outside over Rivers. No good on the shot. And so it's the Denver Nuggets. 13 points up at the end of the period. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Here with Coach Mike Malone. How has ball movement opened up things for you offensively? Every game we have where we get into a one-on-one -on -one game, over-dribbling, not passing, we become very easy to guard. Uh, the good thing about tonight is the ball is moving. We're trying to make plays for each other. Uh, when we move the ball, we get high percentage shots, which is all we can ask for. Thanks very much for your time, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. A pretty close game for the Nuggets throughout the first quarter. They never put themselves in too much danger. Four points was the most they trailed by. The second quarter got a lot more exciting for them as they were putting up big numbers and find themselves way out in front here at the half. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Nuggets? Look, the Joker looks unstoppable in this one. Bulldozing his way to any shots he wants. Non-stop production, and they keep feeding him. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Phoenix? Well, they wouldn't have been in as big as hole if they were if they rebounded better. They've got out hustle, down low, and it cost them some points. They'll be talking about that in the locker room for sure. They know they need to improve on the glass. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You look at Jokic in this game, he has been everywhere. And those extra chances mean so much. And he has shaped the game with the way he's been pulling down those offensive boards. And the team appreciating all of that dirty work going on. His activity has been phenomenal. And with the second half upon us, 
We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. Taking a look at the Nuggets, we've got Rivers. Michael Porter's out there with Gordon. And Nikola Jokic. Here's Porter. No good that time. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Here's Paul. Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. And we all know Gordon isn't just going to lay it up. He's going for the throwdown every time. There's the pass to Paul. Elbow shot. Here's Hayton. Tries yet again. The shot, no good. Good defense by Jokic. Oof, ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in their first five attempts. Porter, no luck. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Rivers against Bridges. Campazzo. And he's good on the three ball. He has six. I mean, he's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Phoenix calls timeout. Right. Hey, Greg, if you could coach one team right now, who would it be? That's a, that's a tough one. Clippers, Lakers, oof, Bucks. Uh, you know what? I, I would probably go Lakers or Bucks because you would have an opportunity to coach someone who arguably might be considered the best to ever play the game because I think Giannis is trending in that direction and LeBron obviously already is. How about a guy like uh, Kemba Walker and coaching the Celtics, having him to do what you want to do on the floor? Oh, he'd be brilliant. And, and yeah. Kemba, one of the most underrated leaders in our game. Great, great human being. So for the Suns, Sharch checked in for Jay Crowder, and it's Johnson in for Bridges. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Here's Booker. He's got 10. Ayton dishes to Paul. Over Howard. Phoenix, no good that time either. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Tipped away and stolen by Eaton. Booker, right side. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. And that's 13 points for Devin Booker. Catching and shooting with confidence. Devin Booker letting it fly. To the paint. Here's Jokic. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area 